Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional. Come join me for another post demonstration on Colour Me In. Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to do hopefully a short exercise in DaVinci Resolve. Really simple, transcoding your high processing, uh, long got 4K H.264 media to something more manageable, okay? Because your system can play back a little bit simpler. Uh, certainly in Premiere, certainly in Final Pro 10. So here we go. So I've got some media in here. I've got four clips, and in these clips you can see they are their UHD and the 2997 drop frame. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to jump into the edit page. In the edit page, we have a sequence. If not, let's create one. There's a sequence there. Uh, let's just close down the scopes. Now what we want to do is drag those clips directly onto the timeline. Doesn't matter what order, that's fine. See the clip, see the audio there, great. So this is your 4K, sitting in a 4K timeline and being 2997, good. What we want to now do is transcode these to proxies so we can edit those proxies. But what's really important, we need the names to be the same in order for the relink. Um, we, we want to be really critically clear on that, okay? So I'm just going to go to delivery. In delivery, make sure that you highlight the entire timeline so we can see everything. So now we're in the render page. What I want to do is go to custom and I want to browse for a location first off. So let's get a location now. We go to the right drive. Uh, this is in the series rushes and it comes from this particular series four. Uh, there's the media here. Now it's actually, um, I've taken this from cam one there, the files there in cam, cam one. Uh, what I want to do is next to it is create a new folder. I'm going to call it transcodes. Okay. Inside transcodes, I'm going to put another folder called proxy, so I know what it is. And inside there, I'll just make another folder called cam one. Okay, so everyone knows where everybody is. Okay, it's just a logical system that we can follow. Okay, I'm going to choose that cam one folder. Okay, so now we've set the location of those files, and we know that's an individual clip. We know that it's going to be a QuickTime wrapper and uh, proxy ProRes codec. We know it's going to be HD. Everything else is cool. Audio, we're happy for linear PCM. In the file, we need to make sure that the source name, uh, do make sure that you ch uncheck use unique file names, okay? That needs to come off. Uh, that's a big thing. You don't want to have that because you need the names to be exact from the source, okay? Now, what we then want to do is, once we're happy with that, we add to render queue and we start render. Great, we're done. Okay, so if we just minimize resolve now and let's have a look at the folder now we can see that inside the main folder we've got a cam one but down we can see our transcodes we can also see our proxy and we can also see our new cam one as well with the identical clip just with the mp4 missing and that's fine these will be perfect for relinking so if we were to open up this clip here this is the original 4K, go to the Movie Inspector, there we go, UHD, good, and we open up the duplicate, you can see that this duplicate is now ProRes 42, proxy, HD, and this one is the original H.264 UHD. So now you can edit with your proxies, edit away happily, have a, make a great film, uh, you'll have much better performance on your system. You're dealing with a proxy intraframe codec. And then when you need to, in the grade, back in Resolve, you can relink to your high res. Or you can even relink to your high res in uh, Premiere or Final Pro 10. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. See you next time. If you enjoyed that video, give me a like or subscribe. Put in the comments down below demos you'd like to see next. We'll catch you next time.